What's up, everyone? My name is Jamie, and I'm from Vietnam. My name is Raina from the Philippines, and currently living here in Vietnam, New York. Philippian buddies. Yes. So today we're gonna try something different a bit, which is uh, we saw a video. It uh, the title is "Do Filipinos Speak Spanish?" and uh, that is my actually my curiosity. So I want, I really want to know that do the Filipino speak in, uh, Spanish because Ryan here is a Filipino originally. He is a Filipino and she he can speak like uh, basic Spanish with pretty well. So I'm pretty curious about this, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So Ready? let's. Hoy cuando la gente me escuchan hablar en español, todos piensan que en Filipinas hablamos español, pero no. This is interesting. Oh, she's, she's traveling around the world. Yeah, she's a traveler. Trish, Trisha. No, no, okay. para que a ver si traigo sí, mi pasaporte. Es un sol, ¿no? Toma. Sí, sol. No, ya, pasaporte ahí. No, es muy tarde. ¿De qué país eres? Filipinas. Uh, Filipinas. Filipinas. The Philippines yeah. was a former Spanish colony, right? So, how come we don't speak Spanish? Or do we? Prior to colonization, the area now known as the Philippines was a group of islands connected by water. Independent, advanced, socially complex and ethno-linguistically distinct communities ruled by respective tribal leaders. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, peacefully coexisted with each other. Trade with neighboring nations to the north, like China, Japan, and Taiwan, and to the south, like Malaysia and Indonesia, was commonplace. When Fernando de Magallanes arrived in 1521, he yeah. united all islands into one nation under the Spanish <clears throat> crown and named it Las Filipinas after Philip II of Spain. From then on, the Philippines came under Spain's control and sphere of influence, slowly but surely, for the next 333 years. <laughs> 300. 300 years, more than. The you know, like, to be Spain's how long foothold in Asia. the Chinese conquered Due to the Philippines' unique Vietnamese. geographical location, not how long? only did it become more than an important base years. for the empire wow. stake in the so I can spice say that trade, maybe, it was maybe, also I a say strategic maybe location for I conducting commerce originally the Americas to from the Far East. China. What else? Surprise, surprise. Most part of China cities also have Hispanic names. Yeah. You've got the obvious ones. Okay. So look towns at the names. named after places within peninsular Spain and towns the, named the after names saints. The names are Spanish. Anyone here Sandra. from Nueva Vizcaya, Nueva Ecija, Pamplona yeah. Negros, Cordoba City? Yeah, Negros. I bet you've at Negros. least been once to a place named Santa Cruz, San Pablo, or San Nicolas. Another thing worth mentioning is that having a Hispanic last name or last a Hispanic-sounding last, last name is a norm. Yeah. I can bet you that the top 20 Filipino last Martinez. names are all yeah. Hispanic in origin. Santos. I can tell you how many Cruces, Santos, Cruz. Reyes, Garcias, yeah. Mendozas, Bautistas that I know. If you're from the Philippines, leave a comment below on what you like think the is the most common surname or in uh, Tagalog, right. apellido. Talking Pero in, in Spanish, lo like, decimos uh, apellido. She's speaking the name in Spanish. To streamline government processes like census and tax collection and to further strengthen their rule, Spanish colonizers enacted a law making it mandatory for everyone to adopt a surname. There was literally a catalog where people can choose Spanish or local surnames from. Most of the indigenous lowland population and some Chinese immigrants as well chose to change their last names to Hispanic last names probably believing that this change might benefit them. Food, 
Oh, yes, you've got a fritada, caldereta, mm. menudo, mechado, longaniza, picadillo, oh, look avocado, at that. tocino, tapa, even adobo. The list <laughs> goes adobo. on. There are roughly adobo around 4,000 Spanish, Spanish loanwords yeah. in Tagalog, the spoken dialect in the country, and roughly around 6,000 mm. in Visaya. Another widely yes, spoken a lot in Lots of words are Bisaya. spelled differently or bastardized, and lots of phrases are used in a different mm. context. These two dialects right. in particular, because the regions where it's most widely spoken were centers of Spanish governance, mm. which are Manila and Cebu. So our dialect has a lot of uh, Spanish words compared to the Tagalog. 75. Yeah, 75. Gracias. Almost everyone in the Philippines knows how to count in Spanish up to 100, and they don't even know. Yes. Así que, por ejemplo, nosotros uno, también dos, contamos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The uno, way dos. we say the time in the Philippines is cinco. also the same. Por ejemplo, les doy un ejemplo. Grabe. Digamos, a la una, a las dos, a las la, tres. Eso es un three, ejemplo de eso hace yes, en Filipinas. Right. Anong oras na? Ala una nama. Days of the week oh. and months are also the same. Nosotros también llegamos enero, febrero, marzo. Marzo, abril, mayo. Pero Mario. las letras son diferentes. The spelling Por ejemplo, is different. En marzo escribimos mm. con S en vez de Z. So, how Lots would, of words related spell, to kitchenware or cooking are also January, similar. February. Por ejemplo, Enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, 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 the Spaniards established Samwanga as a foothold in the predominantly Muslim South. A means so that one, was the Muanga is a place where they and the Spaniards. Speak, in many like, cases, some Spanish, Spaniards will learn the local Spanish. language to gain trust Ooh. and establish a connection yeah. with the local population. In the but in this case, a grammatically <clears throat> simplified form of a language used for communication between two people not sharing common language was established. This is what you call a pidgin, which then eventually turned into chavacano. Although spelling of words may differ, it is very similar that a person speaking chavacano can sufficiently and aptly converse to a Spanish-speaking person. Filipinos, aquí está nuestra guía, Mayra. Ella la, eh, va a explicar qué es eso. Ahorita, ¿a qué te refieres? Well, she's During speak... Spain's 333 Spanish, well. year rule, Spanish yeah. was, of course, Blue a means. widely spoken language. It was even officially considered a Vietnam, national bro. language <laughs> alongside English and Tagalog until it officially wasn't in 1987. After 300 years of rule, you'd think Spanish would be widely spoken across the country today like it is in most Latin American countries, but no. For almost a century now, English has been the country's lingua franca. What happened? First of all, the majority of the indigenous population of the Philippines remained intact. Unlike in Latin America where the indigenous population was wiped out not only by the colonizers, but also by imported diseases. Furthermore, because of the Philippines' relative distance and isolation from the rest of the Spanish colonies, not a mm, lot of Spanish people emigrated to the archipelago. Next, in terms of literacy and education, during the Spanish colonial period as it is today, it is a privilege only reserved for those in the upper class of Philippine society, meaning Spanish-born immigrants, also known as peninsulares, Philippine-born Spanish people, also known as insulares, and half-Filipino, half-Spanish people, also known as mestizos, basically a minority of the population. In the greater part of colonial rule, the majority of the population didn't have access to education. Despite developing a public school system towards the latter part of colonial rule, the masses still were not able to adequately express themselves in Spanish and were still more comfortable in their native tongue. To add to that, throughout all the years of colonial rule, everyday transactions of the masses were conducted in the native picture, there really was no true social and cultural and linguistic assimilation that happened in the Philippines. Towards the end of the Spanish colonial rule, a strong sense of nationalism 
also emerged in the Philippines, mainly propagated by the Filipino Spanish speaking, mostly European educated class, aka Ilustrados. Filipinos long to distinguish themselves from their colonizers. So, when did the transition to English begin? Well, to begin with, Spain ceded the Philippines, Guam, and Puerto Rico to the United States in 1898 under the Treaty of Paris. This means American dominance in the archipelago henceforth. The Americans also set out to establish a Philippine public school system and a system of governance mirrored after the American systems, all of course anchored in English. The masses now have access to learn a language more than their native tongue. The rest is history, as they say. At the early stages of American colonization, <coughs> Filipinos ate up American hegemony, and they still do. The American dream is still strong amongst Filipinos. Just look at the Filipino diaspora American all dream. across 50 American states. In the Philippines, American culture still reigns supreme. Uh, Consumer anymore. behavior is still mostly Trouble. dictated by what's trendy in the United <coughs> States. If you have any he other ideas as to why Filipinos don't speak Spanish, Please share your insights in the comment box below and share your thoughts. It's kind of a pena, como digamos en español, because what if we spoke Spanish? Yeah. What would be our life and economy mm, right now? Right. Same question. Different. Definitely different. Uh, it's an interesting video and I like the way she arranging uh, everything, every article and every information that she got. And uh, so I also can learn some historical lesson here. That's very helpful. Because um, uh, recently I also tried to learn Spanish and it may have for my education, <laughs> like uh, studying language, uh, Sp the Spanish. So yeah, yeah thanks so for this video. Actually, that is right. In the Philippines, most places are in a Spanish name. So she mentioned it earlier. And then also the last name. So my last name is not a Spanish last name. But the spelling of my last name has a Spanish al alphabet. And that is the NBA. In Vietnam, you have that too with a sign on the top. Yeah. yeah. And so, my my last name is Ganiolon and Nye is actually a Spanish alphabet. So and uh as she said, counting numbers, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, yeah, that's very common in the Philippines. And uh, asking the time, a la una, a la dos, a la dos, a la dos, and um what else? Uh the month, enero, February, marzo, April, mayo, yes. And even even like um even like kitchen stuff like this spoon sorry there's coffee uh this is actually cuchara and that's a spanish word cuchara paso or taza spanish oh. word so a lot really a lot. so i think that's kind of bit yeah the thing is that i don't know how to speak it um or use these uh use in a sentence but words i can understand i see that's so <laughs> yeah that's all <laughs> So, yeah, anyway, we're talking about history, and guys, by the way, in our in our channel, we actually react, so if you have an, another recommendation aside from music, you can also recommend, um, recommend us, like this, or another video aside from music. Yes, yeah, so guys, uh, thanks you guys, and if you like this video, Please subscribe, share, and like in the button icon below. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for the support. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We really appreciate and we can feel your support too from us. All and right. one more thing in the future, if ever you guys come to Vietnam, please let us know. <laughs> yes, we would love yeah, to. We can travel we together. Free. Yeah, if you, we are free, we would love to, to travel with you. And this week, we are going to travel because uh, Vietnam celebrates that holiday, the longest holiday in Vietnam. And if you want to watch our adventure, we're going to the mountain. Please.
stay tuned and stay click the bell tuned. icon so you will get the notification on our next vlog. All right. All right. So that's all. See you in the next video. And see you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Salamat.